you guys talk a lot about technology, um, and, and the key is trying to understand how technology works. The first thing you need to know is that technology is not a new word. Okay? Technology comes from the, the Greek or Latin, I get the two confused, um, word techne, T-E-K-N-E, -E, which means shift or change. Right? So technology is all about shifting and changing. It's not you know, that stuff. It's shifting, it's changing. And technology has been around forever. The good news is, is that it's lowering the price of the tools. What we need to make, the, the stuff that we need to make our art, it's getting cheaper to get that stuff. Right? And the net result of that is more stuff gets made. Right? And that's cool. Okay? It's so much easier in the past five, ten years to make a record than ever before. The net impact of that is more records are being made. That's good, okay? But the key is, it comes down to your drive, your will, not some sort of outside system. If you want to make great art, what's stopping you? It used to be you had all these examples, all these, all these excuses for not making great art. It used to be that, well, I gotta get a record deal so that I can finance going into the studio, blah, 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 blah. And we all know that's not true anymore. So it comes down to more of an individual thing. And I think this is cool. It, it lowers your excuses and forces you to get out there and do it. It also starts to show, to show you one, one thing that I'm gonna talk more about is that it breaks down the barriers of race, color, you know, creed. If you think about classical music, no one here can name me one great female classical composer, the historical ones. And no one can name me a black uh, classical composer, right? And it's because they're all tied to the patron system. And a lot of people, none of you guys are wise guys, but someone will stick up their hand and say, Mrs. Schumann, right? She's the one classical composer that anyone can name. And the only reason anyone knew about her is because she was married to Schumann. Um, but as these barriers come down, more people can enter. It's ridiculous to think now that a woman or a black person or whatever couldn't make art. So your material prices, your inputs, as we call them in the business school, right? What are your inputs? And it used to be if you wanted to make a record, you had to have certain inputs. One of them was tape, right? Just buying tape, you guys probably don't even know, maybe you do, how expensive it is, it, just your tape cost to make a record. Three, four thousand, five thousand bucks to make a record back when you were doing two inch tape, you know? That's, that's a good Pro Tools setup, just on your tape cost. Um, and the key again here is, these material prices going down allow you to move away from the popular taste. You no longer have to think, okay, if I'm gonna get in the studio and someone's going to buy me this tape, right, through a traditional record deal, I darn well better make the type of music that they want me to make. Now you sit in your room with your garage band and you make what you wanna make. More expression, right? You're not concerned with pleasing buyers and critics. And modern art becomes possible. This is interesting, if you look at, if you look at art through the ages, so you get, um, you know, this is Michelangelo, right? The Sistine Chapel. And dude was on his back, you know, while someone was out in the fields grabbing beetles and crushing leaves and stuff to make the paint that he had to use to paint this thing, right? It was a big process and it took years. Then we get Jackson Pollock and can you imagine what Michelangelo would have done if he had seen Jackson Pollock walk into a studio and pick up a bucket of paint and throw it onto a canvas, right? Or that scene in Big Lebowski where Maud flies over the room and dribbles the paint on, right? You know, this is only possible because this doesn't cost a million dollars to make. It costs many millions to buy, but it's because the material prices have gone down. The same things happen in music. I don't know where this is, but it's typical recording studio, except for the fact that it has an LP and you know, a record player there. We go from that to you know, this, to what you guys have on your desktops. You can get GarageBand for what, 49 bucks now. So 